Nigerian army wants to tell us or make us feel that they are really working. As a chief of army staff, Lieutenant General T.Y. Burutai relocates to the northeast to end Boko activities. Colonel Saga Musa, the acting director, Army Public Relations on 10th April 2020, disclosed in press statement that Nigeria Chief of Army Staff has fully relocated to the northeast to direct soldiers in ongoing fight against the insurgency. The statement read the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General C.Y. Buratai, has relocated fully to the northeast where he is overseeing and directing the overall operation in the theater and other Nigeria army operations across the country. While addressing troops on social on special super camp Ngandu in Kaga local government area of Bono State on 9th April 2020, General Brutai said that he will be with them to the nooks and crannies of the theater. It will be recalled that we earlier reported that the COS has been on operational tour to troops locations in the Northeast Theater of Operations since Saturday, the 4th of April 2020. During the tour, it was at the Army Super Camp 1st at Mulai and Special Forces Super Camp 12 at Chabon near Maiduguri on Wednesday, 8th, April 2020, where he interacted with the officers and addressed the troops respectively. COS was also at the forward operations base at Alau Dam and also personally led the troops on patrol round Marimari and Magilari Forest. The Nigeria Army wishes to reassure Nigerians that it is highly committed to protecting all law-abiding citizens and defending our territorial integrity. Members of the public are requested to Note that there is no any form of insecurity that cannot be surmounted, and the Boko and Iswap's terrorism will also end in the nearest future. Hmm. In the nearest future, the same brutal that told us that say, three years to ten years is not enough to deal with these people or to just uh, uh, wipe them away or wipe them out. The same man is telling us in the nearest future. Of course, in the nearest future can can be forever again. You know, the money they are going to be allocating to them will continue. And that is a fact. Of course, Chadian uh, uh, troops and their presidents, you know, they've really done tremendously well. And they've told them, giving them two weeks to take over uh, that border or that particular place that they're supposed to man and begin to do their work. If not, after two weeks, they are going to leave. I think maybe they are working on that. But the question is that how are they going to work effectively because the same story we'll be hearing every now and then it is only in this country that we are going to be hearing that say, we have a repentance a boko people and they will be planning big for them the same brutal he has relocated there is he going to be there okay he's going to lead the the fight just like the chadian president did <laughs> okay let them continue of course, they know the kind of people they are dealing with. They know the kind of people, the Nigerian people they are dealing with, that uh, anything goes, that Nigerians can only talk. It will end there. But it's a good thing that the Chadian troops and the president, they really challenge them. But challenging them is not even enough. But to be able to do the right thing, that is what we are talking about. Let's see what will happen. But this uh, end in the nearest future. But they told us that uh, they've been technically defeated, according to Lai Mohammed. That they've been technically defeated and he's not going to apologize for that. That he will maintain that statement. He said, but now you are still telling us in the nearest future. And you told us it is not a, and this is it for these people to be wiped out. Well, within 10 years, it is not a, it's not a tea party because these people have been thoroughly indoctrinated. So it will be so difficult. If it is so difficult, then how did you manage to have this a repentance, a, a, a Boko people? How come? Because this a, these uh, statements are conflicting. That these Iswaps and the Boko people will be will also end in the nearest future. And you told us before that it is not an easy thing. These people have been indoctrinated. And yes, you are telling us that within little time that you had, you've been able to uh, unlearn what they have learned by what the way and how they have been indoctrinated. And you, are, you just recruited them back into the system. Some of them you've taken them to the society and 
it was so easy for you to do that. Hmm. It's unfortunate. Uh, someone says, all this drama should stop. Jumping from parachutes and relocating to not, it makes it look like somebody is toiling with the sensibility of the rest of us. Take a cue from President Debbie of Chad and finish the job and stop acting mbog. When Chad military led by their courageous and dynamic president went after Boko Haram, nobody hears. We only knew when results started coming in. That is it. But this one day we announce everything. You know, that is why these people ambush them. That is why they get for start information and they will be telling you, oh, this and that. Oh my goodness. When Chad, okay, uh, why didn't he end when uh, they needed to be because do why they be? I don't know what this person is writing about. Oga no go sell them to Boko. This is very painful. Bruta is not a soldier by action, he's a political soldier. Why announce your plan before going to meet these people or to go and fight these people? Bruta, use your train capability deal with them uh, Boko Haram for once and all prove to books that you are a well-trained soldier we don't need you Buritai go home and re-strategize on re and renew your Boko boys if we not see and hear our action on Boko denounce yourself don't keep uh, our young soldiers we will carry our vigilance groups and hunters go deal with them that means what president said is not true. Because during his first inauguration, he said the command center will be relocated to Abuja, to Meduguri, until Boko Haram has completely subdued. Britain, not... I, mean, I don't know what this person is. Britain, not talk talk Nigerians want. Okay, brutal. Nigerians don't want your talk talk. No action. No action we want. You behave as if you fear these Boko people. We don't want ceremonial talk. Don't be ceremonial soldier. Uh, chief of army staff shouldn't go there to sell our boys to Boko. So if the Chadian president didn't show us what to do to the Boko people, our own chief of army staff will not know what he should go. He should go and lead the uh, uh, people. Stop talking. You are revealing your secrets to them. Now they will know that you are coming. Take them on our ways. Like somebody said that the Chadian president, they did we didn't hear anything, whether they were planning anything. The only thing we heard, you know, is just the results. People just hear about the results. But this one, they will announce it, they will do this, we are doing, oh my goodness. That is to tell you they are not ready to do anything. They just want you to know that they are working. But in actual sense, are they really working? That is a question that Nigerians need to answer. He went there to kill Nigeria army again with this uh, Boko boys. Now today... Mm, always on deceit. Just say, stay there until mission accomplished. Too late, Chadian president has outshined you people. Time up for Bokus. Thank God he will give us victory. <laughs> Brutai will give us victory. Good and fine. That is what Nigerians are expecting. Uh, he had better remain there or retire. Is see bigger than the president of Chad who recently mobilized his troops and personally lead the onslaught on bh anytime they relocate they make a bigger money hey we know the plans you people have failed already continue sacrifice uh sacrificing nigeria army for your so sheriff uh, sheriff uh, cherish terrorists northern islamic reset secret agenda may god expose you the more always making announcements when will nigeria army general stop broadcasting please do what chad president did and these soldiers did without broadcasting what you cannot do of course it's just for you to know that they are working but in the recent are they working why announcing it if for somebody who really wants to take all those people on our way and you announce it then they will they will, themselves will prepare for you not just relocating but should be involved in leading the troop the Chadian leadership has given an example as this will boost the morale of the troop you are leading god bless you Ah, why you man? Why you government? Bruta is using Nigerian soldiers for blood money, so the business can never end. Please, can someone help me and tell this man that Boko members have been defeated by Chad's army? President deny the careful. President, President Debbie, be careful now that Bruta is there. 
Now, it may be commander to commander because you are killing his business. <laughs> commander to commander. Okay, we have finished another business summit. Good morning, Mr. Brutai. If the Chadian army and their brave president has woken you up from your slumber all these years, good luck at last. Oga, no go spoil their work. Oh. Hmm. If he like, let him move to Sambisa. A necessary action that doesn't need to be advertised good for the second time i be useless government clap for yourself he's a man of faction he's a man of faction when people don't go sleep uh Bruce, is playing games with nigerians it has been long he was ordered by his president to relocate to the northeast why now or is he prepared to retire that's the question somebody's asking there so guys uh, let us hear your opinion do you think that a uh, uh, the chief of army staff relocating to the north east is going to bring about the desired result? Why have they not done it before now? Is it because of the Chadian president who has a uh, you know uh, gained uh, more popularity and who has done tremendously well recently? Or do you think uh, by announcing it is a good thing for them or is going to uh, spare doom? Let's hear your opinion in the comment section. Thank you.